Hey everyone, aloha, thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plant cacao from seed, okay? The seed is gonna come from the fruit. And I have this ripe fruit. I hope it's not too overripe. It's a little soft. You don't wanna start with a green fruit. You wanna make sure that the fruit is nice and solid and ripe. If it's a little hard, it's okay. And as you can see, the size of this is probably around eight inches. I have this really cool book. I'm going to read you an excerpt from the book. It's this uh, specialty crops for Pacific Islands. The least expensive and the most common way to propagate cacao is from seed. A major drawback, however, with seed is variability in yield, disease resistance, and a number of other factors. Some types of cacao are self-pollinated, such as criollo, and produce seeds, seedlings similar to the seed parent. Seeds are collected from ripe pods, which is what we have right here, and they must be planted immediately and not allowed to dry out. Okay, so you have to make sure you're starting with a fresh seed. Drying destroys viability. Seeds can be sown directly in the orchard, provided the soil is prepared not sod. Seedlings can be produced in pots using clean media such as compost or and cinder which is what we're going to use or commercial peat based potting mix. We're going to use um, an organic potting mix and perlite or topsoil. Plant seeds horizontally about 10 to 20 millimeters or about 0.4 to 0.8 inches deep. Use pots or plastic bags in you know, less than 5 by 5 by 12 centimeters, which is 2 by 2 by 8 inches, with good water drainage. Shoots should emerge in 10 days in warm weather, so about 32 Celsius or 90 Fahrenheit, and it will take longer if the temperature is cooler. Germination can be hastened by removing the mucilage prior to sowing. Seedling vigor depends on quality potting mix including compost and proper maintenance in the nursery. The nursery requires adequate supply of water and protection from direct sunlight and wind. From all of this information the summary is we're gonna start with a fresh fresh seeds we're going to cut it horizontally very carefully we're not cutting it right through we're only cutting skin of this pod and the skin is about quarter inch thick uh, the reason why we don't want to cut through is because look at over here what we got wow beautiful so essentially you know when we talk about cacao we talk about chocolate it starts by fermenting the cacao seeds and it's rich in magnesium it's one of the highest sources of magnesium out there so these are the seeds that we're going to plant and what we're gonna do is we're going to try it mm. not bad and just for fun I'm going to try one I'm gonna chew on one so that's as raw cacao as you can get and it, it does taste like it does taste like cacao mm. the skin around it is uh, somewhat sweet uh, like a little bit of sourness to it. I'm going to cut this one in half just to show you what it looks like on the inside And it looks like this So a little bit of purple colors uh, deep brown And um, it looks like it's pretty viable I'm definitely going to Eat some and then plant we're gonna plant the I'm gonna plant the biggest ones like the ones from the middle I'm gonna plant these guys because they're the biggest I got some 8 inch pots here um, I think they're half a gallon but on the sticker it says a gallon so I don't know what's up with that I picked out the largest seeds so we are placing it horizontally so we're placing them like this in the soil about half an inch to no more than an inch deep nice and tight the soil is packed around the edges as well so 
that there's no air pockets. And I have some small pots too. I know you're not really supposed to use these, but I do have extra seeds, so might as well uh, do a little experiment and use these small pots. The cool thing about these pots is that they're made from um, biodegradable organic material, so basically plant-based. Uh, so they disintegrate after a while, but to, to get this thing started, this is um, something that I'm gonna try since I have so many seeds. A good size um, cacao pod has dozens and dozens of seeds in, in it and they're all pretty good size. I'm gonna stick these in. And the rest of them I'm going to eat. Cacao is a stimulant. Theobroma, cacao theobroma is the official Latinized scientific name for it. And it mean, theobroma means food of the gods. It originates in Central and South America. Mayan kings were known to drink the cacao mixture all day like almost like all day every day and that mixture was pretty much reserved just for them so it was a royal drink and then when the Spanish and uh, Cortez came to the so-called New World discovered that Mayan kings drank this they brought that over to Europe they took it back with them brought it to Europe and essentially that's how chocolate industry started the Mayans didn't have chocolate which is basically a mixture of cacao with um, other stuff and it's solid the Mayans had a liquid form of cacao and they called it xocolatl and that's where we get the word chocolate from is from the Mayan or Quechua word Chocolate, and it sounds very similar to chocolate. Um, in other languages, chocolate is pronounced chocolate. That's in Russian. Um, I think French uh, has a similar sounding pronunciation. Chocolate. So chocolate, chocolato. That comes from the Mayans. Very interesting culture. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna water it. Put them in a shady place that's also warm, around 90 degrees or 30 Celsius. Then they should be able to sprout within about 10 days or so. Good luck, thanks for tuning in and check us out at OrganicHawaii.org. Aloha!